Hi, I'm Darlene from Single Boss Lady. Welcome to this week's Intuitive Business Reading. They do come out every Monday, Queensland Australian time. Every Monday morning, I should say. <laughs> now, I'm just checking in to see what's going on. And the word, actually interesting, the word chaotic wants to come up. It feels like things have been a bit chaotic. It's time to take a few deep breaths. And just let go. Let go of that chaotic energy. Let it go. Beautiful. That's it. I can feel the energy's calming down. Oh, yes. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And because I did that, I'm actually getting hot now. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, the card to come out is a minor arcana, and that, that just brings us more awareness to what's going on internally. It's the five of wands. Now, there's actually five people with wands fighting one another. There's three fighting one another, and then there's two fighting one another. Wands is our fire and our passion. What are you fighting about your fire and passion, about how you how you run your business? What advice have you been given? Why are you fighting your natural instincts? You know what you need to do. It is great to have coaches, mentors, everything. I mean, I'm a mentor. It is great to have all of them, yet we also need to understand their advice may not always be right for us because they're an expert in the area. Like I'm an expert as a mindset mentor. Yes, artist as well. Mindset mentor. That's my expertise. And there are others that are expertise in helping people start a business or content or whatever it is, their expertise. And that is great. Listen to them. Yet at the same time you're listening to them, making sure that you've got your hand on your heart and that you're just breathing and they don't need to see this and tune into your body what is it telling you it will tell you whether the advice is right or not uh, because I've done so much work it is an instant it is instant and yet there have been times when I haven't been in the right space and I've gotten on a call with a coach or someone and it hasn't been beneficial you know I've signed up and then just gone no this is so wrong and do that listen to your body and your business's energy will come in as well and it will speak to you so whenever you go to get on a call with a coach mentor whoever make sure you set yourself up first drink plenty of water because it helps flush things out Make sure that your energy is right. That when you're on a call, make sure that your feet are on the floor. You're firmly grounded. You, you can feel and see roots into Mother Earth. And she connects you and grounds you. Do that before you get on any call. And you then you'll be in the right space to listen. And you'll be in the right space because you're connected. Interesting what comes out. This is what I love. Like... I learned the bare basics of tarot and then I went, you know what? No, this is just beautiful guidance and then intuition comes in and that came from a card that I don't think actually means that. I love it. Lots of green in here, lots of abundance. There is abundance of fire and passion within you. Stop fighting yourself. Stop fighting your business. Stop fighting all of the things that are happening, the thoughts, patterns, and beliefs that are coming up. The more that we fight our thoughts, patterns, and beliefs, the more they, they're going to continue to come in and be, I will say, be a problem. They will be a problem. Look at them. Connect to them. Understand. You don't need to understand everything. Sometimes something will come in. I go, great, Beautiful, thank you, done. Other times something will come in. I go, okay, no, I need to know about that. Why is that come in? Stop fighting. That's what continually comes up. Stop fighting. Stop reacting. And that, and what I mean by that is someone says something and you're straight back at them. 
or something like that. What you do is when someone says something or there's a comment on your post, just stop, close your eyes immediately. What that does, that removes the distraction, that removes, um, you know, what's going on. And then you just, you take three beautiful deep breaths. Now, what I love doing is the box method. Breathe in for four, hold for four, let out for four, hold for four. And you do that and it helps to regulate everything. And by deep breathing, what it also does is you've got your lungs right at the bottom. We've got alveolar all the way through. Right at the bottom, there's a blood vessel. That needs oxygen. If you don't deep breathe, you're only opening like, you know, maybe a quarter, half, three quarters. You're not getting as much oxygen through into the bloodstream our brain needs oxygen it is important and when you deep breathe you actually allow that beautiful oxygen to go to your brain which gives you more insight because it's getting more oxygen it means the neurons are firing better you get more oxygen neurons fire better more clarity and more confidence so instead of reacting you actually respond. And sometimes you don't even need to do anything at all. You know, if someone's in front of you and they've said something, they go, thank you. I'll, you know, I'll sit with that advice. You don't have to take anything on from anybody else. You just let them walk away feeling that they've been heard and then do what with that advice, whatever you want. If there's been a comment on Facebook or anywhere on social media, you have a right to delete it. It is your page, your social media, wherever you are, you can delete comments. You can block people. I do it constantly because, of course, I've got lots of, <clears throat> lots of, you know, like men wanting to do stuff and like lots of stuff. So I just automatically, I don't even reply, just automatically block. And it's, it's great. It means that there's people on my page that are beautiful people. They may never buy from me. And this is what I love about it because my fire and passion is so beautiful and so strong and confident that I know there are people following me that will never buy from me. And I'm okay with that because what matters is I can change their life without them having to need to buy from me. It is all about just being of service. That is why, you know, I've now got what four videos going out every week on my YouTube channel. You know, because I love, oh, there we go. Oh, again, interesting. Um, That's why I love doing this. I love being of service. Now, interestingly, this card has come up for the last three weeks, 44 integration. There is such a strong message in this that it needs to be clear. 44, master number, integration. I combine body, mind, and soul to lift all of humanity into a new dimension. Now, I'm actually going to write that down because obviously I need to do a Facebook Live on this. It is about you integrating integrating what you're doing, and it's also about allowing your clients to integrate, which means giving them time and space. You stop talking and you just... Well, excuse me, allow it to happen. Allow them just to sit there and integrate what you're giving them. Oh, oh releasing. <clears throat> it's about that. I'm not going to write the rest because it that's um read the rest because that doesn't matter. It's about integrating. You need to have the silence to integrate. Your clients need silence to integrate. You can't keep talking and talking and talking for the whole session and not allowing your clients to sit there and take things in. I've been on sessions where the coach mentor has given me so much information. I've walked away with all these pages and feel overwhelmed and not taken any action. It is about taking action. So allow your clients time and space to integrate. Then some more integrate, some more integrate. That is a beautiful way of conducting a session. Your clients feel heard and they actually feel valued because you're not constantly talking and talking and talking and talking, 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 talking. You're not doing that. You're allowing time and space. And it's a matter of just sitting back 
and watching their body language and you will see changes happen. You will see them suddenly get an insight. It's really cool to allow that to happen. Allow the time and space. That's this week's Intuitive Business Reading. Thank you very much for watching, for liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, all of that beautiful stuff. Any questions, ask below. And I'm wishing you a beautiful day wherever you are in this world.